on behalf of uh, the entire Christian family, on behalf of the Carmelites uh, of, of the school, we want to offer our condolences and our prayers for Ms. O'Connor. May she rest in peace and also for her family and also for her extended family, the Christian Carmelite family. Miss O'Connor made Crespi a home away from home. She was truly the embodiment of the Crespi mom. She made me feel like this was my family and she was always there to comfort me, make me feel better, gave me cough drops when I was sick. She was probably one of the biggest influences in my life at Crespi and I will always miss Miss O'Connor. Miss O'Connor, she, uh, she was always there to make me happy and whenever I'd get there in the morning it was always nice to see a familiar face. And, it didn't matter how late I was or what class I was going to, she'd always stop and tell me about her family and waste all that time just to just to make me happy. So I love you, Miss O'Connor. I'll miss you dearly. I just want to say we all miss you, Miss O'Connor. And we know that you're with God right now, so they'll be watching over us like you're our guardian angel forever. I miss O'Connor. Um, <laughs> well, I guess this is a uh, goodbye. We will sure miss you, all right? Uh, thank you, Miss O'Connor. We all love you and we'll never forget you. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. Hey, Miss O'Connor, I just want you to know that I love you. I'm never going to forget you. Every kind act that I do for the rest of my life is going to give a credit to you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Connor, for all your stories, for all the kindness that you did for everybody. You're the greatest one that ever stepped on Crespi soil. Thank you. Connor, you've done so much for us and all the kids here at Crespi. Your legacy will live on and I'll never be forgotten. Connor, just, uh, everyone's going to miss you. We love you so much and uh, touch everyone here. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. O'Connor, for not only remember not for not only remembering our names, but for remembering us as human beings. Miss O'Connor was always a very nice woman and was always here every day at school and always made every day a little bit brighter. I'm sorry that she's gone, but she's in a better place now and she can watch over the world. Ms. O'Connor, you are the mother figure of Crespi. Thank you for always having cough drops for us at all times. You will never be forgotten. We all love you. I love how she always actually remembered our names and treated us like human beings rather than just memorizing our names. Peg, you are already so missed, and I can't begin to express the amount of love and joy you brought to my life every day coming to Crespi. I, I know that I'll as I go on, continue to learn how to love, how to bring joy in everything I do through your example, Peg. You are missed, you always will be crispy, will not be the same without you. Love you, Peg. Thank you for always being there, Ms. O'Connor. You're the greatest part of Crespi history. We love you. Thank you for everything, Ms. O'Connor. You made me realize why I became a Crespi man. Love you. Thanks, Ms. O'Connor, for always having the cough drops, and thank you for always helping me out for the crossword puzzles.
last time I saw Mrs. O'Connor, I was late to school because I had missed my alarm. And she wrote me a late slip, and I said thank you. And little did I know that'd be the last time I ever spoke to her. Thankfully, the last thing I ever said to her was thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of Mrs. O'Connor. Hey, Miss O'Connor, uh, we're going to miss you greatly. You have a small place in my heart that can never be replaced. I'm gonna miss those short talks that we would have all the time, especially when I came late. Um, we love you, man. We miss you. Peg's life was truly a testament to love and to unity, and I just think the, the people gathered here is just a wonderful witness to that. Only she could bring this many people together across so many different generations, all in unity, all in love, all in prayer. We miss you, Peg. We love you. Thank you for the memories. For 38 years, we all listened to stories about her husband Frank, her children, her grandchildren, and her great-grandchildren. And now at last she is with Frank, who I am certain will be listening to 38 years worth of stories about all of us. Godspeed, Margaret O'Connor. We miss you. Uh, in life, there are people that, that you just simply won't forget. Uh, you know, people will always remember fondly. Uh, Peg is one of those people for me. Um, part of the last 10 years of my life. Uh, the memories that, that she has given me will last me for the rest of my um, I will certainly miss and, and remember her fondly. Uh, thank you. Uh, I was almost late every day at school, so we and Mr. Connor had a fair share of conversations, but I just want to say thank you, Mr. Connor, for uh, everything you've done and the impact you've you know, lasted on all of us. And I'll never forget you. And Hi, Mr. Connor. Um, I know you're uh, looking down on this wonderful occasion and celebration of your life, and I just wanted to add uh, my two cents. And uh, it was always such a pleasure to, to listen to yours on whatever the topic may have been around campus, and uh, spending a few moments at your office uh, just hearing about your life and your kids and letting you know and uh, everybody else uh, that remembers those, those moments with you uh, that they were very meaningful to all of us and special. It was wonderful even just last Thursday to, to go back and hear about your husband making $100 a week for the first time in his life and how exciting that was and thinking about my own life and, and putting those things in perspective. Uh, those are wonderful gifts to all of us and uh, you've done that for many years here at Crespi uh, and, and it was just a treasure to, to be um, even just four years part of your life and, and thank you for all you provided for here uh, for us here at Crespi and for all of our Crespi men. So thanks for looking down on us uh, today. Hi Peg, it's so good remembering you. I remember you know, my whole life. You're like all of our grandmothers. It was so nice to be greeted by you every day when we got here at school and to remember everything we've ever said to you. Goodbye, and we love you. Ms. O'Connor, you are the most amazing person ever to step on this campus, and thank you for making my high school experience what it was. I will keep the memories I have with you in my heart forever. I miss you. Everybody at Crespi really appreciated your work. You are such a role model to everybody. We all love you. Hey Peg, I just wanted to, uh, you know, to pay my respects and let you know um, that, I, that I loved you. And I just want to thank you for all the many talks that we had uh, these last five years. Um, I grow very. You're very special to me. The fact that we're both from Yonkers, or how about the fact that um, you decided to leave this earth on uh, my 40th birthday? Um, that's something I will never forget, and I will take you with me uh, to the end of my days. So um, I love you. God bless you, and uh, you know I just want to thank you for looking over all of us. Now um, you've affected many people, Peg, and uh, now you're with God. I see all the time that are late to school or just need a pass to get into class. But I am going to miss you and I hope you're going to come back and see us. We'll always be here. Bye guys.